Hi there, Connie here. Are you confused about how to move your information from your company servers or computers into the cloud? Have you taken time to consider, consider what it really means? So let's talk about this transition. We're going from the server to what has been known as the cloud. And this can be many different forms, but for this purpose of this demonstration, we're going to be talking about Microsoft Cloud uh, applications like SharePoint and OneDrive and Teams. So with this transfer, does this mean we just transfer all the files that we have on our file server and our, all our computers and we just throw them onto the cloud just in one fell swoop? Nope, don't do that. Do not do not take a pile of files that you have on your server and transfer it onto another pile on the cloud. That's not the most efficient method of doing this. That, that won't even make your new system work properly. That's not what, how this is intended. So let's think about this. Let's think about what we have to consider so that we can make this transition the best it can be. So first off, you need to know that you have one server. Maybe you have more than one if your organization's a bit bigger, uh, but that one file server is gonna move, we're gonna move the data from that one file server to many different clouds or many different SharePoint sites is what it's gonna be referred to as. And that, by the way, can be many different Microsoft Teams. So a SharePoint site, Microsoft Teams, I'm just gonna say they're the same thing for now. Like they, they, they will end up being um, the same kind of location or they can be, let's, let's just say it that way. So one server, many, many, many um, sites. So how do you decide on this many? How do you decide on how many sites do I move my files into? Well, you have to think about the different groups of people that you are that are working together in within your organization. You have to think about whether you have um, specific teams of people, and you know what collaboration do you want to have? Because that can determine what kinds of SharePoint sites you have. Or if you want to think of it in this these terms, you can think of it as what types of teams do I need? And so that that might help you build those sites. So should you delegate this whole job to your IT department or an IT company? You know, should they just take care of it all for you? I'm going to say no. And I only say no because I'm assuming this is not somebody that's internal and knows your operation and everything that everybody does as well as you or the team of people that are looking after it do. Okay. Um, so. I'm not saying you're not going to deal with work with IT uh, or an IT company. You definitely should be doing that. But I don't want you to just say, hey, I want to move my stuff to the cloud. Can you just do it? And then just be that that's the conversation. And they'll go, yes, sure, we can do it. Here's the price tag. Goodbye. You know, no, no, no. That should not be how it's happening. You need to think about this. What would be really great is if you could make a plan, decide, you know, know about what the new system's going to look like, get rid of some bad habits that you currently have, let go of some old ways of doing things. Okay, so let me just show you what I mean by that. So we've already talked about the one to many aspect, one server going to many, many clouds, right? Many SharePoint sites or many teams. This means that you have really a new roadmap. You, you, you can create something brand new here, something that hasn't been utilized in your organization before. So let's take advantage of that new road and let's go with it. So we're going to direct the traffic so that the SharePoint site, each SharePoint site can be connected to a team, a group of people, and then that group of people will have the files that are necessary for them within that team, within that SharePoint site. Okay, so we don't have to take this whole pack of files and just put it into another whole pack of files into the cloud. We're going to say, let's look at each different site each different team and let's look at the files that we need. So we're kind of dividing up that big pile into groups, right? So how do you do that? What files do we need to divide up? Who needs what file? So think about how these files can be organized by topic or department or um, project perhaps. Uh, so you need to decide on who needs to see those files. Should 
those files go onto one SharePoint site, different SharePoint sites. There's even a way to have more than one file area within one SharePoint site. And that might be necessary because you have different permission levels for people or different, um, different needs within that group. Okay. And then all that will translate into the team. So once you decide what files belong to what group of people, then you can decide what team and what site do I need. I also want you to think about throwing away some stuff, letting go, letting go of some stuff. Okay. So the first thing we need to let go of is this idea of the file structure hierarchy that we've become accustomed to with how computers have operated to this time. You know, we've, we're, we're used to that storage system where we have, you know, the main computer drive. So I'm saying file server here, but you can think of your hard drive, drive C, whatever you want to call it. And then you divide up that drive into a number of folders. And then each folder has subfolders. And some of those subfolders have subfolders. And some of those subfolders have subfolders and so on and so on and so on. We don't need this type of division anymore. Okay, I'm not, you, you can still have folders, but you don't need to get this deep, right? You can, and, and, and get this confused too, because let's face it, the number one reason I see for people not using their file server files, like if they have a centralized uh, filing system, and the reason they don't use it and they just save the stuff to their computer is because they know where to find things in their own computer, their own filing system. When they look at the file server and they look at this kind of file structure, it's just confusing. They're like, I don't know where that file is, what folder or subfolder or subfolder or subfolder it's in. So they make their own folder. Okay, we don't want that. We want to get everybody centralized, everybody going to the same place, and we want to make it easy for them to find where that place is. So I'm suggesting here that we embrace the cloud. We embrace SharePoint, we embrace Teams, we embrace it for the new things it's going to give us. It's going to give us a way of get, well, getting one division to start with. So remember those folders or subfolders we have? Your first division, your first folder hierarchy is the fact that you have a separate SharePoint site, which again equates to possibly a separate SharePoint or a separate team, Microsoft team as well. So that's your first division. You don't need that row of folders because you've already divided up those files based on the site. Now what's the second division? So that's where teams can come in and with teams channels, you can get that next division for yourself so that, or for your group, right? So that you can have that sub subfolder, but it's not called that anymore. You just know the team needs to go to accounting. That's the, that's the team they go to. And then the channel is payroll, right? Whereas before on the file server, that might've been the accounting might've been, um, accounting was one of your, folders and subfolders was payroll. And then within it, you had timesheets and, and a whole bunch of other subfolders underneath. But right now it's going to be very easy to see this because you're just going to go through the team structure. Now, the other thing we have to be uh, clear on is the fact that these two cloud systems provide a lot more. And so why I want to talk about this, I'm just going to talk about this briefly uh, in this video, because I'm going to do another video on this topic. Um, but these provide a lot more things that will replace the need for files. You know, I don't know if you're file crazy in that you make files for everything. You have a spreadsheet for everything. You have a list uh, galore, you know, all these, well, maybe they're Word documents with lists of things, lists of people, phone numbers, who knows? Um, do you have lots and lots of files and that's what you're saving and trying to have other people access? Well, you can switch from some of these lists, some of these files that you're using and, and not even need the need, not even ha have the need for those files because you use other systems that are provided to you here in the cloud system. You have something like Microsoft Planner, what will give you a new list system for tasks. You have OneNote that can take the place of all your meeting files, meeting notes, agendas, uh, minutes. Uh, you have uh, lists, actually the feature that's called lists. Um, and that will take the place of any lists that you have, um, maybe in a spreadsheet or in a Word doc. So you don't need all these files anymore. You can actually let go of some of them because you can embrace some of this new technology within the cloud. 
Okay, so I'm gonna I'll do another video to kind of go into this in detail so you can understand what I mean by that. But just just so you know that those are the possibilities. Right now, um, your goal with this video is to understand that I don't want you to think you take all the files that you have on the server and you put them all in one SharePoint site. You need to think about dividing up all those files into multiple sites, which will end up being multiple teams. And, and that becomes your first division. And then you'll have a second division, which will be those channels, okay? So one more thing worth mentioning here is that I know with new technology, it's really fun to get it. It's really fun to just say, hey, let's just jump in and figure it out, right? You see that big puddle of water? If you remember, maybe you do this still today or remember when as a, as a child or your children are doing this, they see that puddle, they just wanna jump in. But are they prepared? Do they have the right shoe wear? Do they have the right outfits, uh, you know, and so on to prepare them? You know, and that's what I wanna say to you. Like when you jump into that new technology, are you prepared and yes IT will definitely help you you can talk to your IT person about helping you get started but they can't read your minds they don't know your organization the same way that you do so that's why it's so important for you to not just say we'll figure it out we'll just deal with it afterwards um, you want to actually take the time plan out what you want to create here uh, understand what it's about and create that future that you're meant to have. Keep in mind that uh, this is this is what I do. I teach computers, I teach technology, and I like to empower you, um, the student, to be able to do what you need to to make yourself successful in, in, in everything that you're trying to do. So I'm empowering you by giving you the knowledge, and that's what I have. Is that if you're if you're interested at all in looking at our courses, we have online courses on Microsoft Teams. SharePoint that will take you step by step on how to create this, how to plan it out. And you can still delegate to your IT department or your IT company um, to help you with the process, but you will know what you need to help with. You will not be blind and jumping in and feel like you're drowning in information, right? You will actually have a plan to start with and you'll have created that future yourself. All right. So thanks very much for watching. Uh, take care and uh, talk to you again. Bye-bye.